by now a lot of people know the analog to digital HDMI converters. This is just one of them. This is one of the more recent ones I purchased. And with the analog S video, uh, also analog, goes in here and then it outputs HDMI. This kind of a device is used by retro gamers. So if you have a Super Nintendo, um, old Sega Genesis, those kinds of games, that you want to play it on an HD TV, you would get this converter. I've been using this for video and uh, this helps me digitize analog tapes. That's what I've used this for. And I've also used this to, uh, if I, I do some, depending on the style of a documentary or a film project that I work on, it's been really trendy lately to use high eight or analog uh, video cameras and then if you, uh, there's not a lot of tapes anymore because those tapes have been discontinued. Those high eight, uh, high eight millimeter tapes have all been discontinued. VHS tapes, they've, they've been, I mean, you can find them, but they've been discontinued. So what you would do is you would have a digital recorder, but all the digital recorders or most of them, the high quality ones that record to ProRes is HDMI. So you have to convert everything to HDMI and that's what I use this for. But I'm running into a situation where for a creative project, I wanted to do the reverse of this. I wanted to uh, have a digital signal, HDMI in and analog out. This one is only a one way pass. This analog in, digital out. It doesn't go backwards. Some of them go backwards. I haven't really found one that I like that can do both, that, that's affordable. There are ones that do both, but they're, they're, they get pricey. And uh, I found this product right here. I already unboxed it, but it, it comes, that's a USB. And this is this product. And what this does is you take an HDMI source in and it converts it to analog out. Why would anyone want something like this? Well, if you're doing a creative project or if you wanted to uh, use your old TVs, your old TV sets, or maybe you, you got something on eBay or you at a garage sale or a thrift store and you wanted to use it to play HD, to, to play things that, that, are, that use the HD output. And you can't do that on those old TVs and I'll demonstrate how, to, uh, how it looks in a, in a minute, but this product, you need something like this. And there's not many of these, cause I, I don't think this is a kind of thing that a lot of people do. All right, here's my setup. I'm just playing a YouTube video, one of my YouTube videos, and here's the TV. This is a 13 inch Panasonic. And you can see here, this is the analog inputs. It's actually in the front on this TV. And then this is my converter. And then I'm going HDMI out. This is a MacBook Pro 13, uh, 16 M3. So that has the HDMI out. So I connect HDMI out into this. And then this is a USB that's powering this device. This goes into the input. And right now it's just a screen. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this video and I'm gonna plop it onto this screen. So here it goes. Let me just see if I can move my thing around. Okay, there you go. This TV is now playing my YouTube video uh, on the TV right there. And it's just, it, it, there's audio too. Let me turn on the volume. So it does vol uh, audio and video. The reason why I did this is I'm using this, I'm doing a creative project where there's uh, some video, some content that plays on an old school TV like this. And in order to achieve it and to control it for the filming, we have the, I have the computer and it's connected here and then somebody off camera is gonna be connected here and then play it back here for, for the uh, creative project that I'm working on. And it looks like it's coming from either the VHS player or from a TV. And this is all because of this device right here.